two card slots and a camera, do you really need it? Stay tuned. So what I'm talking about today is something really, really simple that I have just been hearing consistently a lot on YouTube by every YouTube techie person that I could think of. And it's been this big thing about having two card slots in your camera. Like, you know, if you're doing a wedding, you should have two card slots. I would never do a wedding without two card slots. Um, I would always have a, a, a backup. Uh, the whole nine yards, the whole shebang. And, you know, I, you guys, look, you've been with me for a while and you know that I'm the kind of person is that I cannot stand BS. I cannot stand just a lot of crap. And I also research. Now, my channel is not the most techie channel you'll ever find out there. There is a lot of techie channels that deal with a lot of, you know, technology of the camera, the camera slots, lenses, the whole nine yards. Me, I am, I am an artist and I'm always about the creative side of things, but I'm also educated. And because I'm educated, I do a lot of research in a lot of things. And so my thing is that I kept hearing this, you need to have two car slots. Now I've been shooting ever since 2008 and I have done hundreds of weddings, hundreds of events, and in all those hundreds of events and hundreds of weddings that I've done, I used this A6000 when it, well, actually I was using a, a Canon before that. I mean, not a Canon, but a Nikon before that. And I think I had two card slots in those right there. And, and, and it was, it wasn't a really, really big deal. I, I, I shot and I came home, I uploaded my images, um, and, and I took care of it. Now there were times that I would put two cards in my, uh, my Nikon. And I never end up ever using it. it. It just stayed empty. And I noticed that what it did do is that for me now, I know I'm going to get a lot of responses out there and a lot of people are going to say thumbs down or you're going to unsubscribe. I don't care. I am so sick and tired of people, these manufacturers, people trying to sell us a bunch of bull crap, guys. How many of you? And this is just just to ask you, how many of you have actually just shot with a full frame camera or a crop sensor, one slot, event after event, and have never had anything go wrong with your, your, your card. You've never had it crap out on you. You've never had anything um, to go wrong with your card. You've used the most professional card you got out there. You're professional. You've used the, those high tech, whatever. I'm telling you guys, the problem is that I'm seeing with a lot of people is this, is that if your card is going bad, okay, number one, you're not reading the back of the instructions with your card. If you're a professional photographer and you're shooting a lot of events and a lot of weddings, okay, it tells you on, that, on the instructions with your card how many rewrites you actually have. After those rewrites, you can tell as a professional when, you know what, guess what? After about a month or a couple of months, it's time to take that card, throw it away and get a new one. Now you want to test that new card out before you go to your event to make sure that is re, uh, that is writing and rewriting well and that it's uploading to your computer right and that you and that everything is fine. Also, if you're doing an event or anything, what you're talking about a card, what I would never do, what I did for years is that I would never go and shoot a wedding or an event without two cameras. But having two cards, man, have a backup camera because your camera can go bad just as well as your card can. All I'm trying to say to you guys out there, ladies and gals, guys and gals, ladies and gents, that don't buy into all of this techie hype that you're out shooting a wedding and you're now, because you've heard the latest podcast or the latest YouTube about SD cards going bad, that all of a sudden now you're so concerned with your cards going bad that you have left off being creative. Don't worry about all those things. I'm telling you, cards do go bad. 
But I can tell you right now, I have my cards. I have never, ever had it happen. Knock on wood. And everybody always say, well, there's always that slim chance. But guess what? I told you I'd do my research. I actually have friends or a friend, friends and friends, but one particular friend who actually writes software, who actually does this kind of work as a business and works for a major corporation upstate New York. And I'm telling you, he says that is. And also he uses SD cards as well. And he gave me, he said, that is BS, Will. I'm telling you right now. He says, number one, technology is not changed. It's not, it's not changing. Technology is not, they're not doing anything really different with technology. It is just, it techno, it's just what it is, is that our society is so bombarded with so much techie stuff that everybody is rushing out saying, I need to get this, I need to get that, I need to get this, I need to get that, I need to get this. Because we do it with our cameras. Every time we turn around, the camera manufacturers are coming out with a new camera and then everybody rushes to do a review on this camera and will tell you the pros and the cons of it. This is bad. That's bad. I don't like the grip on it. I don't like how it's not ergonomically fit or whatever. Man, shut up and buy the camera. If the camera works, buy it. If you like it, use it. I just I, I know that I sound like I'm on a rant today on somewhere in America, but I'm telling you guys. It is just preposterous and ridiculous that we are being bombarded with all this technology and we're going out and spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a bunch of BS. Stop falling for it, okay? If your camera has been working for the past five years, it'll still work for you, okay? That is the bottom line, all right? If you got an SD card and you worried about it going bad, take that one that you got in there, throw it out and go and buy another one. Now, I will say this. Now, my friend did tell me this because he is in the music industry and he deals with a lot of SD cards and the whole nine yards. And he's also in the, he he does the music thing. That's his business. But he also works for a software company where he writes software for major, major corporations around the world. He did say this. He says that of, out of all of the cards that he's ever used over the years, he's only had one car to actually crap out on him. And he says, and that card was a sand disc. Now, I'm not coming out against sand disc because I've, I use sand disc cards and I have never had a sand disc card crap out on me. But he said that there are other cards that are out there that are better that you can use. And I might be shooting myself in the foot because I'm not going to get a sponsorship from sand disc. I don't give a flying fart if I do or not. I don't give a flying fart really about getting any sponsorship at all because it doesn't take away from my creativity. It doesn't take away from me getting clients. It doesn't take away from me doing weddings, doing events, none of that. I am an artist. I'm still a professional and my work speaks for itself. So, and I'm sure your work will speak for itself too. So my thing is, is that he says that that car crapped out on him. So the bottom line is this guys, is that after so many rewrites, and it tells you how many after you've done so many pictures, you've done so many videos, whatever it is, the card will begin to degrade. But it's very, very unlikely. It is like one in a gazillion chance that that card is gonna crap out on you. And you might say, well, what if I'm at the wedding and all of a sudden that card craps out on me and I, got, and I needed a, a two slot to back up? Well, guess what? The bottom line is that that's the reason why you carry a second camera. With another card in there and you go ahead and you take pictures and you continue shooting. All right. You're going to deliver. You're going to deliver between six to maybe seven or eight hundred pictures to your bride anyway. So you always want to have another camera going anyway. I always keep another lens on one camera and keep one lens on the other camera and keep them going. A lot of times I'll have, I'll have my assistants with me and they, sometimes my assistants are second shooters and I'll have them going. Sometimes they'll have a camera. I always got a camera going no matter what. And if all, if all of my digitals fail, guess what? I shoot film. So I got a film camera and I'm going to tell you right now with my manual lens, I can, manual, I can, I can focus real fast with a manual lens. In other words, guys, get creative and stop falling for all of the BS and all the hype. And bottom line is that shoot, shoot smartly, love what you're doing, be creative, get out there. 
The more you get bogged down with all the techie stuff, yes, know your camera, know what it does, read your manual, because I always do it with mine. Do your research, know what it does, what it can do and what it can't do. Know the limitations of your camera. But all I'm saying is that, guess what? Don't allow that to take away your creativity and to take away you focusing on that, that, that person, the most important people right there at the event, and that is your client. That bride gives less than a flying fart about that, that SD card. She gives less than a flying fart about you don't have the right lens or you left a lens at home. You better make it happen. You better make it happen no matter what. So, hey, this is Will Moore. That is my rant today on Somewhere in America. Two car slots, that's a bunch of BS. The way technology is now and the way they're making cameras now, there's a reason why the new Nikon mirrorless camera only has a one car slot. There's a reason why certain cameras are only that are coming out brand new only has one card slot. There's a reason why you really don't need to use a SIM card in your phone now. There's a reason for that because you know why? There are guys that sit in a lab just like my friend does all day long and they come up with bright new ideas. Guess what? To eliminate as much junk in the technology as, as they can. And then you have other companies that will come and say, you still need this. You still need that. No, you don't. So guys, other than that, God bless you. I love y'all. Today, I'm not going to say my usual. If you can't say anything nice or do anything nice for anybody, stick a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. I am going to say this, that guess what? Get, get that camera in your hand. Slide that in that one slot. If you got to, use it. I don't care. Get that camera in your hand. Slap the best lens you got on there. Get your tookus out there and go ahead and make art and start shooting. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for subscribing. If you unsubscribe to me, God bless you too. I still love you. Keep on shooting smartly. Take it easy, guys. Incidentally, if you want to find out some information of what I did, I read a good report and I think it's DP review. The questions and questions and answers, the questions were was asked about that there. You can go in there. There's also some other information out there about a two-card slot. Also, there's information out there too about why does an SD card, and that's always my question, why does an SD card actually go bad? A lot of times, it's our fault. The reason why that card went bad is not the manufacturer. Those cards are made to last and they're very, very durable. Promise you. God bless y'all. Talk with y'all later. By the way, did I tell you that having two car slots actually slow your camera down? Mm, yeah, you might want to think about that too. God bless y'all. Talk with you later. Bye.